secret Asian man. Hi, I'm Lexington Mu, Master Asian, and I'm here to teach Asian street smarts the art of fighting without fighting. How, you ask? Simple. We play on all the Asian stereotypes, so instead of becoming the target, we become the threat. Simple steps like wearing all black, applying a dragon tattoo, or a fake scar on your face will not only make you be the part, they'll make you feel the part. Carry around two phones. If your mugger see you using a flip phone, they'll think you're worse off than they are. Other helpful tips include talking on the phone with a slight Asian accent. That's a tiger territory. The big boss will not be happy. Jump over his thumb. Don't forget to pack your lunch. And utilize your props. Or just practice these hand exercises while on the train. And if other Asians are around, pretend they're your family. Remember, safety in numbers. I'm Lexington Wu. Thanks for watching Asian Street Smarts. The art of fighting without fighting. Next week we explore Keep your knives by the window for easy access. Having a black friend. Contrary to what your grandparents may think, people of all races are wonderful. But having a black friend gives you serious street credibility. It's like wearing a bulletproof vest. Even the Asians will feel threatened by you. Everyone will be confused and they'll just assume that you two are undercover cops reluctantly paired together. Why else would you be hanging out? On the next episode of Chink and Yon. I know you never hear, see, or read about any of us in all the five kingdoms, but I promise you, Asians are everywhere. Look to the east, to the west. Huh? What's he eating over there? Noodles? We invented that. Uh, and he's using chopsticks. General Tao, please stop giving Asian names to white characters. Not yet a token Asian? Not a problem. Your first step is to get a group of white guys or black guys to hang out with. White guys love talking about sports and black guys love music and movies. So, that's your in. Being the token Asian means you get to wear cool, risque things like fluorescent colors, uniforms, and Halloween costumes any time of the year. It doesn't matter because you're Asian and exotic. When going to a party, don't forget the sake. Doesn't matter if you're not Japanese. People will like it because they can pronounce it and they can spell it. Maybe. Make sure you're the go-to guy for all the electronic issues. You'll be the hero of the party and you'll calm everybody because you'll fit the harmless stereotype. Token Asian benefits include having friends who love to waste money, getting rid of your parents' accent, and being the coolest and only Asian in the room. The best part about it is you can get away with anything you want. Just use this key phrase, sorry, that's customary in Asia, and people will start apologizing to you for whatever it is you did. Thanks for watching. Nice token to you. Aloha. Asian in American News, where we discuss the hottest Asian topics in American news today. Jeremy Lin in Songota is so kungwa fako nga linsanity itata. Oh, Chingata Bambamba Hall of Fame in Su. Pako in cha, um da nda, hunga, yao ming in saba. Ipata, huga, linsanity, Jeremy Lin, umata. Habata, tago. Asian in American news. 
where we discuss the hottest Asian topics in American news today. Tonight, we take a look back at the diverse and illustrious career of John Goatee. It was the singularly unique color of his facial hair, with its copper undertones, that first attracted the attention of Hollywood, and landed him in his breakout role as Chad in the American Party Trilogy. Uh, this, is, this is not what you think. Okay, this is what you think. John later reprised his role in American Graduation. American and who can forget his epic speech as the Pledge Master in Welcome American Fraternity? To the fraternity. Being a household name domestically wasn't what enough for John. Fuck? He wanted the respect of an international audience. So he traveled the world, worked with coaches on dialects and accents, all in an effort to elevate his work. This next chapter in his career led him to films such as Sake It To Me. And who can forget his Korean hitman role in Soul Brothers. He also played a Chinese metalwork in Chink in the Army. Despite his commercial success, John soon realized that producers were only interested in hiring him based on the color of his facial hair. And all his hard work ended up on the cutting room floor. His frustration with the industry led him to no longer care about the types of projects that came his way. One flop seemed to follow another. Hawaii 3 was called a critical failure. And in the buddy cop movie, Secret Asians, he played Pat Wilson's bumbling sidekick. Hello. His role as the witch doctor in The Natives Are Restless also was a commercial flop. So what has John Goatee been up to lately? Our sources found little, but one of our producers did accidentally stumble upon this clip. I got an order here for some young guy. Although the actor's face is censored, we can't help but see the hint of a copper goatee and hear the uncanny similarity to the voice of John Goatee. 